A lot of customers call up and they're confused because they've just found out they need an EGR cooler, but now they're not sure which one do they need. Do they need a round style EGR cooler or do they need a square style EGR cooler? And how can they tell? Well, let me help you out. First of all, if you have an O3 model, if you have an O3, every time they always have this, the round style EGR cooler like I have here. On the other hand, if you have an O5 or newer 6 liter, you have the square style EGR cooler. So O3 and earlier, round, O5 and later, square. But what about the O4s? Why did I skip it? Because that's where it gets a little bit tricky. And to help figure out the difference, the best place to look is at your VIN code. You can see on this VIN code here, in the middle, we've highlighted it says 4EA. That 4 means that's the model year of this truck, in this case an 04. That's the ones we're trying to figure out. The E, that means what plant it was built in. E, in this case, means Kentucky. Well, that A, that's the beginning of the sequence number. The last six digits of the VIN code are the sequence number. Well, as you can imagine, all sequence numbers that start with an A are the very first models of the O4s. That A means you have a round style EGR cooler because Ford continued to produce the 6 liter diesels from 03 into 04 with the round style EGR coolers. However, if you find out your VIN code says 4EB, like 4 Echo Bravo, that means you've now got a square style cooler. That's a new version of the sequence numbers. That's a second edition of the sequence numbers and those all have the square. So again, 4EA, the 12th digits in A, You've got the round, 4EB, or a C, or a D, or an E, you've got the square. And that's how you can tell if you have the round or square style EGR cooler.